What's up, board gamers? Thank you for checking out our review of Azul. This is a family weight abstract tile laying game which has the following description. In the game Azul, players take turns drafting coloured tiles from the suppliers to their player board. Later in the round, players score points based on how they've placed their tiles to decorate the palace. Extra points are scored for specific patterns and completing sets with wasted supplies harming the player's score. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. The mechanisms in this game are tile placement, set collection, pattern building and end game bonuses. On a player's turn they select tiles of just one colour from the available piles known as factories. The tiles left behind after choosing then move to the middle of the table. In further turns players decide to continue taking all of the tiles of one colour from the available factories or take all the tiles of one colour from the middle of the table. With the first person to take from the middle of the table receiving one minus point that round. Players then add those selected tiles to one row on their player board. If they take too many tiles the spare tiles will fall to the floor broken and are placed in the minus point section of the player board. If they do not take enough tiles of one colour to fill the row, the players return to the factories or table middle to gather more tiles of that colour in the same round or further rounds. Once all the tiles from the factories in the middle of the table have been claimed, players move into the scoring phase. If a line is full up with one colour, players move the furthest tile to the right on each line across to the scoring area and discard the rest of the tiles into the lid of the game box. Throwing tiles into the box lid is legitimately in the rule book and quite satisfying. A tile that touches no other tiles in the scoring area will score one point. A tile that does touch other tiles in the scoring area will count up the vertical and horizontal number of tiles it joined in total and will then score those points on the player's tracker. So for example moving a tile across which touches one tile above it and one tile to the right of it will score a player four points. Endgame scoring helps drive the choice of tiles by offering additional points for every line of tiles you have running across the scoreboard left to right, top to bottom and also having all the tiles of one colour within a player's scoring area. For example players receive an additional 10 points if they do manage to place all of the tiles of one colour out into the scoring area which can often be a victory deciding factor. The things to be mindful of in Azul are that the tile choices can sometimes be a bit obvious which occasionally takes away a decision point for players. With two players the game becomes more cutthroat as players are sometimes left with a high number of minus points in some rounds. Being able to view the other players board helps you to make decisions that are good for you but even worse for your opponent. And also in our version of the game, our player boards were warped and more difficult to use even though stored in the same room as dozens of other games. The things that we like about Azul are that the tile components are satisfying to handle and make a great click clacking sound when pulling them from the bag. Games are relatively quick at all player counts due to the simultaneous player scoring. On the back of the player boards there is an advanced version of the game which is a great option to have available the more familiar you become with Azul. We also like the fact that the end of the game is driven by player actions rather than rounds which makes timing part of the strategy. Here at Board Game Picks we give Azul an 8.5 out of 10 as we like the puzzly nature of the game and the satisfying chunky click clack feel of the tile components as we are playing. Thank you for checking out our review of Azul.